Hello guys, hope you are doing well. Welcome back. In this video, we are going to work on the user profile, right? Uh, so let me show you what we will be implementing in this video. So if user click on this section, user will be directed to my profile screen and we will show the user profile information right over here. And also user will be able to upgrade their profile information. Okay. So now let's get started. As you guys can see, I'm back on home.dot screen. Uh, in the home.dot dot, I have build drawer, and that contains this uh, drawer header. Okay, uh, basically this portion, and I have implemented inkwell on it. When user click on uh, this portion, user will be directed to a new screen. It is called my profile. And this is the skin that we have already developed for the profile setting. So what I did, I just copy code from the profile setting and pasted it inside my profile dot dot. Okay. So this is what that I have already did. The next thing that we have to do is when I click on this, so we should implement the logic that populate information from the file store and show it to the user. So now let's do this okay guys first of all uh, as you can see we have our controller right over here we just have to go and we have to create a method that is known as get user information and it will be a asynchronous function uh, okay I think let's remove this and we have to call uh, Firebase Firestore dot instance dot collection, and we have to get information from the user collection from this collection. And then we have to call the document, and we have to provide our ID. So uh, suppose a string UID equal to Firebase auth dot instance dot current user. UID, okay. So I have to provide this UID right over here, and then I have to call dot snapshot because if anything changes on the profile screen, so user will be notified uh, on the real time. Then I have to call dot listen, and it will give us the updated snapshot of the document. Okay, guys, as you guys can see, we have a few fields right over here. Business address, home address, image name, and shopping address. So for this purpose, I'm going to create a model inside the lib folder. Let's create a directory with the name models, and that can directory will contain models like user model, and this directory will have only models that are related to the user user model. And this model represents a class user, and I'm going to and user model contain information like uh, business address, home address, image, name, and shopping address. Okay, so now let's uh, write these properties in our model string business address string home address so these are the properties that exist in our data model or user model now let's create a constructor for it Okay, so constructor is now ready. Let's assign values.
so yeah guys uh, we have basically uh, extracted all the information from the document or the json to our variables so now let's use this model so i'm going to create an instance of the model right over here user model and i'm going to name it my user and initially this will be an empty constructor okay uh, let's create a constructor for it so now we don't have any constructor let's create a uh, default constructor user model okay and that's it now error is gone also we have to make it observable dot obvious okay so whenever uh, i get information from the snapshot the user model will be updated automatically okay so let's do this uh, my user dot value this will be equal to user model dot from json and we just have to pass event dot data okay and yeah that's it after this we have to call get user information right inside our home screen because we are also using user information in our home screen let me show you uh, right over here and then we are using it inside the drawer and after drawer we are using it profile so this should be called from the home screen okay uh, I'm in the home screen we have to call it inside our init state auth controller okay we don't have auth controller over here so let's copy this get dot find and paste it right over here and call auth controller let's import now get user information Let's restart the app and let's see what we get. I think app has been restarted. Okay. Now we have to apply some checks. We have this build profile tab, right? Uh, let's implement check on this first of all I'm going to uh, use observable widget on this Let's check again. App has been restarted. Let's see. Yeah, guys, it worked. <coughs> okay, something went wrong. Null check operator used on a null value. Okay. So I think we have to provide the default value right over here name okay. now let's restart it again
and yeah guys basically i was implementing the check in a wrong way so this should be value dot name so if i show you uh, initially i am not just passing any value so these information are none uh, what i did then is i just compared it with the null value okay? once user information are there then we have to show it like instead of mark i will show the name from here okay. and yeah guys you can see it is saying good morning osama Kurefi, and this information is coming from right or there so let's implement for the okay let's apply for the image as well uh, make sure to apply on the box decoration because sometimes it not work. Image. If image is null, then we have to show the hard coded image from asset. Otherwise, we have to show image from network. Okay. And yeah, guys, it is right over here. So now let's get same information in the drawer too. and yeah guys now it is looking good so it's time to work on the profile screen okay let's click on the drawer and we have to use the same information in this screen okay so inside in its fit i'm going to assign the values to the controller like name controller, home business shop controller, and also uh, I think we have yes we have name controller. Uh, so let's first try this name controller dot text 
this will be uh, auth controller dot my user dot value dot name if it is null then we have to assign empty value 